Okay, I'm on board my C Ray 260 2004 working on the uh, door slider. And I had to take some headliner pieces out in order to access the track that I want to drill holes into. I haven't seen any videos like this, so hopefully this guy helps you guys out. So the problem is up here, excuse the shadow, this block should be attached underneath that door. There are two of these blocks. Both of them have come out. I actually found them behind the helm when I pulled the fuse, pa fuse panel off. So the trick is, without removing this entire dashboard, how do I get screws underneath to screw that block back in? So um, I have both blocks. I actually bought a couple more. And the plan is to drill holes down here through the track to the bottom side of the boat big enough to fit a button head of a or the head of a screw from underneath and attach it back to the bottom of the door so here's one of those screws here so that's going to go underneath through there but through the door okay I've seen this done before removing the entire home I do not want to do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole like I said straight down the block big enough to fit the head of this screw and then I'm gonna slide the door over on top of it and then from the bottom just screw my block back in now I'm gonna add, they're probably stripped. I know they're stripped, that's why they fell out. So I may drill some new holes um, from the bottom, I'm not sure. Um, then I'll, so I'll drill my holes from the bottom and then I'll put this whole screw through that hole, through the track, up into the door. And I've been told to be very gentle and careful drilling into the door because it could crack and they're very hard to replace. Now, second challenge is how do I get underneath here to drill? I'm covered in headliner everywhere, okay? And it's very tight, almost like a car. There are no exposed screws at all. So here's what I did to get the panel off. And I did this in a specific order, kind of. So if you see on the left and right hand side, we have these, which are connected like that right nice and neat there are three one two three panel fasteners i think they call them uh, christmas tree things or whatever they pop in here here and here all the way down to the bottom so there's two of those one on either side Okay, one there and one there and one all the way down the bottom over over there okay once those are popped out you can start working on this panel above my head here all right that's the big panel it has the ACDC switches it has the lights I have it propped up right now on some life jackets and my head door so what I did first down here was I took this light out I unscrewed the four screws around here and I pulled it out just so I can get an idea of what was inside and what I found was more of these Christmas tree guys so as you can see there's one here that's gonna go up into that hole when I put it back there's another one over here um, I may take that one out, put it in the panel so I can push in. Uh, and so on this side, there were really only two. There was just this one here and that one over there. Okay. Now, working my way over, 
the round part here, there were none at all. It was pretty well cinched up to the wall over here. But if I look from this side, I can see I have one here, one here, a whole bunch here. It looks like if you can see, if you can see they missed a whole bunch of times. So they kind of did it and redid it. Turn my headlamp off, maybe that'll help. And so there are a few more here. As you can see, those holes there, those should go back in just fine. They're really not damaged in any way, which is great. And there's another one here. And there's another one here. Now, one thing I was a little disappointed in is that this entire piping, if you want to call it, continues its way all the way down the door to the bottom. And you can see it's stapled on all the way. So there's really no way to separate this panel from here if I wanted to take the whole thing down. I have to just sort of prop it up. This is a, a solid piece and the same on this side. So when I put the panel back up, I'll probably just throw a couple more staples in just to secure that. So that's what it looks like off. Um, I'm pretty excited because I didn't know how this was going to work out, but it looks like I was able to get it all out to a point where I'm now able to access underneath the rail, which is right here. So I'm going to slide this panel back and then drill up or drill down from my rail, which should be somewhere around here and do whatever work I need to do to get those uh, gliders back. So I hope this was helpful. I haven't seen anyone take uh, any, any other panels out. I did actually remove these two screws, super long screws there. They did have caps on them. So I took those off. That didn't, I'm not, I'm not removing this panel at all. I'm not removing that panel if I don't have to, but I was able to pull this panel back just enough just to give me a little bit of room just to slide this panel out. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. So now I have uh, the job I've been thinking about since July, which is drilling these holes and finally fixing this door. Uh, what was happening there was it was, my kids would like to stand on it and sit on it and I'm not light as it is. So walking across it, you know, the boat's in 04, uh, it's not really sitting on this track anymore. It's just, just slammed up against this wall. And even when you're running, it's bouncing and hitting this wall, hitting this wall, hitting this wall. Uh, and also the, uh, the latch here took a little bit of a pounding because it was not lined up properly. And you can see that here, some scratching and this thing got beat up a little bit too, but totally salvageable. It's in good shape, um, but I need to have these sliders on to really stabilize the door. So like I said, I may put, um, that came, it has two. I'm probably gonna put four on. I, I found two online, 15 bucks a pop. So I'm probably gonna put four on and strengthen this thing, put sealant in the screw holes and everything and make it as strong as I possibly can. So, that's basically it. The headliner is out. Hope this helps you, you guys.